surprise that some of the year's most celebrated films are full of political undertones. But it is, is it possible to look at the people who worked on the movie, wrote it, directed it, funded it, and how liberal or conservative they are? Did that bend the movie at all? Let's bring in our Chris Moody. He joins me from Washington. This is really interesting. I was reading through your piece. And you were able to dig down and see where, basically, where the money came from to fund these films, and if that tells us anything about them politically. Well, breaking news, Poppy. <laughs> uh, Hollywood is liberal. Now, really? We all, we all know that, right? Okay, so what we did was we teamed up with a group called Proud, Crowd Pack that uh, tracks political donations. And we looked at all the people who worked on the, on the movies that are up for Best Picture and looked at their political donations, uh, which are all public. You can tell a lot from a very private uh, celebrity about their po uh, political donations, which they have to file with the FEC. And we found that the most liberal movies, uh, at least the most liberal people who worked on the Best Picture movies, uh, were The Imitation Game, Birdman, uh, and Selma. And on the other side of the spectrum, uh, I would say the most moderate or least liberal was American Sniper, which uh, was directed by Clint Eastwood, who spoke at the Republican National Committee last year. But interestingly enough, despite the Clint Eastwood factor and his political donations to Republicans, he also gave to Democrats. And so even the most, quote unquote, conservative movie was on the left side right. of the spectrum, as far as the people who worked on that movie. But can I, let me ask you this, okay? Honestly, when I saw this, I was like, how much credence can we give this? Because it goes back and it looks at people's political donations. Like for Bradley Cooper, the last political donation it, it had was from 2000. I mean, how much can we really read into this? Well, that's just one person. There's dozens of people who work on movies, uh, and a lot of the donations were from 2012. Quite a few people who worked on these movies gave to President Barack Obama, or they gave to um, um, uh, campaigns uh, in California, where a lot of them live. Uh, Brad Pitt, uh, he gave hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, to support the, the uh, pro-gay rights movement in mm -hmm. California. So yeah, there's some that go back uh, quite a ways, but also you can tell a lot from a person over time uh, to see their, their donations over, over several years. You wouldn't just want to look at one cycle because views can change over time. So I think having a nice, uh, a long sample really, really is helpful. It's really interesting. Go to CNN.com, read the piece. Uh, you can sort of see the spectrum. It has all the movies listed there and sort of the blue to the red. And as you said, most of them or are on the blue to light side. blue. Blue to light <laughs> right, blue. Right. Exactly. Chris, good to have you on. Thanks so much. Thank